Hey, I'm Brian from RC Creative, and today I'm going to teach you how to make these fancy schmancy wine bottle pendant lights. Before you can start making wine bottle pendant lights, you'll need to round up some wine bottles. You'll want a standard 750 milliliter bottle or a 1.5 liter magnum bottle. So where can you find wine bottles? Try your recycling bin. Let's face it, if you're cool with having wine bottles hanging from your ceilings, there's a pretty good chance you like to imbibe. If you don't have any, just ask around. We've all got friends who've discovered the wine loophole, where uh, basically it's perfectly acceptable to get hammered at home alone so long as it's wine. Anything else and you're a sad, pathetic drunk. A quick Facebook message usually yields more bottles than you'll need. If all else fails, just go dumpster diving. Find out when your township's recycling center is open, don some gloves and boots, and hop in. Cleaning wine bottles really isn't hard to do if you have the right tools and materials and prepare them ahead of time. I already created another video about how to clean wine bottles, so I won't repeat myself here, but I will provide a link to that video. You can cut wine bottles a number of ways, and all of those ways suck to varying degrees. If bottle cutting is something you plan on doing more than once, I really recommend you pick up a Kinkachu bottle cutter from Bottle Cutting Inc. They eliminate much of the trial and error from the process, and they sell a bundle that has everything you'll need to cut and smooth glass bottles. I already made a video about how to cut bottles with the Kinkachu, so I'll go ahead and link to it here rather than repeat the process. To turn your bottle into a pendant lamp, you're going to need two things. A keyless lamp socket, which is basically a lamp socket with no on-off switch, and a length of lamp wire that will position the lamp where you want it vertically below your ceiling. Measure and cut the wire using a pair of wire cutters. Measure an extra foot of wire to accommodate the extra wire you'll need to wire into the electrical circuit at the ceiling, and on the other end to run down the neck of the bottle and wire into the lamp socket. I like my lamps to hang about 12 inches from the ceiling, so I measure 12 inches of wire. Untwist about an inch of wire at either end and strip about three quarters of an inch of copper wire using a wire cutter. The Rayon Retro Wire that I like to use is 18 gauge. Make sure you use the appropriate gauge when stripping your own wire. Once stripped, choose an end of the wire to be the lamp end. You'll take each bunch of stranded copper and twist the bunch together and then bend it into a hook to go around the terminals on the lamp side. Attach the copper wire to the terminals. The neutral wire, which is usually but not always the white insulated one, attaches to the silver terminal. The hot wire, which is usually the black insulated one, but not always, attaches to the brass terminal. The hook should go around the terminal in the direction that pulls the wire towards the terminal when you tighten it. If that's not the case, loosen the terminal and reverse the direction of the wire. Ensure that both terminals are hand tightened with a screwdriver. Next, we need to tie a knot in the wire just above the lamp socket. This knot needs to be tight to the socket and not so big that you can't hide it beneath the lamp socket's cap. This knot basically prevents the wire from being pulled away from the terminals by gravity. Finally, pass the other end of the lamp wire through the lamp socket's cap and push the cap tight onto the lamp socket. Installing your assembled lamp socket is easy. Just pass the loose end of the wire through the bottom of the bottle and up through the neck. Pull the wire out of the other side and pull it tight so that the lamp socket pulls tight against the inside of the bottle's neck. All right, well, that's pretty much all there is to it, folks. Um, if you like what you saw here, um, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see the latest in all of my DIY shenanigans that I get into. I'm making stuff like this all the time. I've also got a series of videos leading up to this project on how to clean wine bottles, how to cut wine bottles, everything you're gonna need to complete this project quickly and easily. And if you like these wine bottle pendant lights and you don't feel like making your own, that's cool. I've got it for sale in my store. So head over to www.rccreative.com and get yours today. All right, catch you later.